Well, here it is, uh, July 12th, and Tornetta, one of my favorite uh, female box turtles, is looks like she's going through the effort of laying eggs tonight. She's dug a huge hole. I've prepared some of the area uh, so that the digging would be easier, but uh, she's decided to dig in dirt uh, that is uh, just basically hard, hard, hard pan. And she's made a tremendous hole in the ground here with her rear legs, and uh, she's probably going to lay, uh, judging by past history, about seven eggs in that hole. I uh, actually dug uh, nine eggs up uh, in this area right there, to the left of her about 30 inches this morning, and I got them in the uh, incubator, and I'm hoping that uh, they're going to hatch. Uh, the uh, young box turtles that I had hatched from last year I have in the uh, smaller enclosure here. It's a, a sectioned off portion that has just a, a 10 inch wall of uh, plastic uh, siding and uh, some rather large dandelions and uh, there are five young box turtles that hatched last year that live in here. Next year I'll release them into the uh, main uh, habitat area here. Uh, in the meantime Still in the process of uh, loving to uh, allow uh, the box turtles to reproduce, help them out. I think that almost every egg that would be laid uh, in the enclosure without my help, I think that every one of them would uh, be attacked by insects, uh, either ants or other uh, type of, uh, I don't know, just bugs in general, and it would uh, cause the uh, little baby turtles to die before they could hatch. As it is in my incubation uh, area, I can keep the humidity up to over 80 percent and without keeping the soil itself uh, wet at all, and I'm having extremely good luck with incubating the eggs using peat moss and uh, temperature uh, that varies in my computer room up near the ceiling that sometimes it gets up to probably 80 degrees up there and uh, the coolest it gets until September is probably about uh, 70 degrees. I'm not going to take any chances of going in here close to Ornetta and uh, interrupting her while she's laying eggs. She'll probably work like this uh, all night long, judging past experience, but uh, I like to check because after they get done laying eggs, it's really hard to tell where they've actually laid eggs. So tomorrow morning I'll come out here and uh, that area right uh, where she's at will probably just look level and flat and it won't look any different. I hope you. Uh, I may add some additional video as I dig up the eggs tomorrow morning. Well, here it is the next morning. It looks like huh, the hole that uh, Ornetta was working on is uh, not covered up. It appears she dug a hole and has abandoned the hole and. Uh, has not laid her eggs. Oh, Suey. Look at that. Oh, she's going to come back in the morning. Well, here it is about 8.30. You know, looks like a perfectly good hole. Like she just suddenly Did not, did not cover it. Well, I'll uh, stop this video here and just uh, post what I've got. Uh, 
I just don't get it. It seems like I've watched uh, her lay eggs before and she usually works at it all night. She got the hole dug and then decided you know, there's a little I'm gonna do. I'll just wonder if she laid it somewhere else around here. I don't think so. I've got uh, oyster shell on the ground so I can sort of tell if she uh, disturbed the ground. That's just still hard. Okay.